Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Please Fix the Road. So imagine if you will, you're driving along in your car and suddenly there's no road in front of you at all, but then from the sky huge big sections of road drop down to fill the gap, you continue on your journey, you get to your destination, your car is then catapulted into the air, it lands back down and then it explodes. We've all been there I'm sure, we can all be very familiar with a situation like that and that's what Please Fix the Road is all about. It's a puzzle game where we have to put down and bits of road so cars can go from A to B or sometimes C to B or maybe even A to C whatever the case and that's it it's a simple idea just put down bits of road to complete a route but it's not quite so simple to play because some of the levels are very tricky indeed and then yes at the end of each level for whatever reason your car is thrown into the air and then it explodes when it lands which is quite fun although it's probably not that great for the insurance premiums but there we go so I think without any further ado let's dive in and do some road building so here we go and we're starting on level 8 of the game. I have done levels 1 to 7 already. They were kind of happy hand-holdy tutorial type levels so we've got those out of the way and now we can have a look at level 8. So if we go and take a look at what's actually happening over here on the map. I mean first things first it's very pretty. It's a very pretty game indeed. Look at that. A lovely kind of autumn scene I'd say with the trees all in their golds and reds and stuff. It's very lovely to look at. So what do we have to do? Up here we have a car and down here we have a jumpy up and down flag and the gold Goal is very easy indeed. Get the car from there to the jumpy up and down flag down here via some sort of roads. And there are some roads already here. You can see the roads are here, but we do have a couple of obstacles along the way. So over there, it looks like we have road works. And then down here, we have a little bit of an oddity where that road kind of ends there with a lovely graceful curve. And that road ends there with a graceful curve. And there's no man's land in between. And the car can't drive over that. The car just can't kind of leave one bit of road and jump over some wilderness and go to this bit of road. They have to be connected. So we have a problem there and a problem down here. But we do have tools to fix the problems. Of course we do. And you might well have noticed that there is something following the cursor around. So down here in the bottom left are the things that we have to use to fix the road problems. But we have to use them in the order that they're provided down here. So first up, we've got bombs. Because as well as building roads, we get to blow stuff up which is quite fun so right now we've got some explosive kind of tiles going on and we can blow things up in a kind of a diamond shape so we're going to blow up a two by two square and whatever is in that square gets removed so it removes trees water road anything it blows up everything the entire kind of chunk of map is removed and we can see up here we've got two little kind of blue diamonds that tells us we have two uses of this particular thing so we can blow up a kind of a two by two square and then we can go and blow up another two by two square and when that's gone we move on to that curve and then when the curve has been put down we move on to two straight road sections because there's two little blue diamonds there so first up We've got to figure out how we're going to use those row bits. I mean, that's where the curve's going to go. The curve has to go there, and then the two straight row bits are going to go over there. So I think, on this level here, we'll blow that up. So boom, and look at that. It just carves a great big hole into the map. So that means we can then put that down. But we still got to use the other kind of two-by-two two explodey bomb thing. So that's going to go just there like that. So boom, blow that up. Now that's gone, we get to put the curved bit down. So drop the curve bit into there and then we can put down the two straight road sections because the curve bit, there's only one of those. There's no diamonds at the top, so only one of those. So straight road section there and then straight road section there and then the car can drive along and then there we go, we <laughs> The cars get catapulted away and they explode and then the level transitions are completely wonderful. The way the levels transition, it's just wonderful. It's just very exciting. They're not just kind of, doesn't just fade or anything. The levels all kind of fly about and fold over, kind of Inception style. It's really good. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, this looks very intriguing. So we've got to start over there with a kind of, like a bin lorry by the look of it. Like a kind of, a, like a rubbish truck type thing. And it's going to come round here. And then it's got to get up there. But in the middle over here, we do have a raised bit. Okay, and we've got a huge big kind of explosive bit. We've got a ramp, a straight high up bit, and then a regular straight bit. Okay, how are we going to best do this? Um, okay, what if, what if we blow up, say, that just there? So if we blow that up and go, there we go, that's done. So we can then go, okay, that's going to have to go like that, I think. 
So if we put that like that, and then that's a high up bit, because we can tell it's got a sort of a, a raised bit. So that can go up there, and that can go down there. And then the little truck can zoom to its destination, and we boom! <laughs> it just blows up, and there you go. Another exciting transition, and now we've got ourselves a kind of a snowy map. I mean, it's very pretty. Hang on, hang on. There are presents over there. There's all sorts of presents there. I like that. So what are we moving now? Are we moving a train now? Because, yeah, it's not always cars. Sometimes it's cars, sometimes it's trucks, it might be boats. I think one of the early tutorial levels had you moving, like, two animals around the place. They wanted to go from A to B. So you didn't exactly build a road. It was more of a kind of a track kind of thing, which is quite nice. I like that. So what have we got? Three explodey diamonds, and then a curve and a curve and a curve. Um, okay, so the moment the train is heading off in that direction, which is no good at all. So I think we might need to blow that bit up like that. So then we can have a left curve coming in. And then we're going to have to blow up uh, that bit, that I'm very sorry environment. We're going to blow that bit up. And then I suspect we need to blow that bit up. Right, and then that's going to have to go, uh, yeah, like that. And that's going to have to go like that. And that's going to have to go like that. And then the train can poodle on its merry way. And then it can be flying into nowhere and it can also explode. Sorry, train. Look at that. How how good was that transition? And there we go. Look, we've got, I don't know what that is, like two cats or something. We've got two creatures that would like to get over here, but they can't. Why can't they? Ah, I see. Right, so the black creature down there can get to where it needs to go, but the sort of uh, yellowy looking one over there can't get to that flag there. So now we have a couple of destinations. So we've got to use two bombs as well. We've got two road bits and two bombs. Hang on, how are we going to do this? So I think, um, ah, I saw what we're going to do. We're going to blow that up, so get rid of that, and then blow that up. And then the two road sections, one can go there, one can go there, recalculate that route, and there we go. And then we've just jettisoned and exploded two cats or dogs or whatever they were. Okay, that looks really easy. That looks really simple. Ooh, oh, that's new. Oh, hang on a second, what's this? It's a copying thing. Oh, oh, that's exciting. Hang on, so we copy that and we put that there. Oh, so the car can get to where it needs to go. Oh, that, that's a very exciting new development. Okay, and then we need a bit of water there, and then copy that, and put that there, and the little boat can get through to where it needs to go. Okay, so different ways of doing things. We get copies as well. Okay, now we're out in... I mean, what's going on over here? Looks a bit deserty. Looks like we're out in the desert. Um, So now we need to get... There's a horse up there. The horse needs to get to just here and there's a boat that needs to get to over there we've got three sort of whatever it is three by one explodey bombs then we've got three water sections but only one land bit we've only got one land connection bit how is that gonna oh no it's ah hang on but it's a two by two land connecty bit okay so how are we going to do this i would say we do that. So take that out. Boom. Carve a big hole in the world. And then we take that out. So then we can use... Uh, oh. Oh no, hang on. Hang on. But that's not going to work. No, I don't think that's going to fly. That's not going to work, is it? Because then if we put the water bits in here, that 2x2 two two track has got nowhere to go. Okay, right, hang on a minute. You can sort of reset everything. There we go, lovely. Um, maybe then, maybe. Are we supposed to take down, say, that bit and that bit? Is that what we're supposed to do? And then connect some of those up? But then how does the water bit then function? So if we take out, let's just go, okay, boom, blow that bit up. So then we can... Connect the water. Okay, what if we do that look? Go like that. Three water bits. So connect, connect, connect. So the water bit's done. And now we've got this massive bit here. Uh, okay. Right, hang on. So we put that down. 
That doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, uh, big fail. It's all gone horribly wrong. Okay, so where can we do better with that? We need to leave that bit intact. That bit has to remain. So we need to blow up that bit, that bit. Oh no, there's a ramp there as well. Hang on, hang on. Did we blow up a ramp? Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> right, so get rid of that bit, then get rid of that bit, then get rid of that bit. Um, and then, oh, this isn't going to work here. Hang on a minute. Drop the, drop the water bits in. We know they're fine. And if we put that in like that, no, still, still no good. No dice. Okay, not that. So that bit's got to stay in as well. So if we go, okay, boom and boom. And can we, can we lop that off the edge? Are we allowed to do that? Ah, right. You don't have to deploy the entire bomb structure onto the map. We use two bits over there and one bit just blew up a load of nothingness. Okay, now drop that in and boom, boat and horse can get to where they need to go. And we, they both fly off <laughs> into the sky. I don't know why that happens. I like the fact that it does happen, but I'm not quite sure why. Um, oh my goodness me. Right. So now we've got triangly bomb. No, not well, yeah, sort of a V bomb. And then random bombs that are far apart. And then a pointy arrow bomb. And then a four by four Two lots of 4x4 four four tracks. Oh, this is going to melt my head. Okay, right. Where do we need to go from? So, it's a train over in that little station there. And it needs to go up to the high up town and station over there. Okay. <laughs> How are we going to do this? And I don't believe you can rotate these bits. So, this is the shape of this. We can't turn it upside down. So, you know, it's a kind of a an upward pointing kind of V shape or whatever. This is the shape that we've got. I think that might go there, look. Because those things were in the way anyway. But then, yeah, then I think... What if we blow up... Blow up that like that. And then... That like... Yeah, that like that. Because then we've got those two bits. So one goes in like that. One goes in like that. It creates a loop around. That's wonderful. Away goes the train. And... Boing. Boom. <laughs> Into the pool with you. Okay. We've now got... Ooh! Okay, that was an exciting little transitional thing there. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Back to autumn again. Right, so we've got one copy, and then we've got several double copies. Okay, I think one copy is going to be that to put over there, and then the double copies... Um, three of those. Hang on, how many bits are there? One, two, three. There's four bits. So if we go like that, Copy that and put that there. And then we've got another double copy, which we can put there. Oh, hang on, hang on, uh, hang on. Then one copy, drop that in. Boom, little boat can go where it needs to go. And yay, there we go. It flies off and explodes a little bit. See, we're rocking through the levels. That's pretty as well. Look at that. That's very nice. Pink trees. So what level are we on? We're on level 15. Out of 160 levels, there are many, many levels in this game. So we've completed 9% of the game. Nowhere near anywhere you know, near to completing it at all. That's that's a lot of road building and you know river building and everything else and path making. Okay, fine. Right, so what do you do with this? So we've got two bombs that are going to explode in lines and then two copies. And we need to get a cow from down here... Oh, there's a little tent there. That's quite nice. And little whatever that is. Oh, I don't know what that is in there. What's that in there? Like a fenced off thing. Like there's some plants or something. I don't know what that is. But okay, so there's a cow by a tent. And it's got to get over to there. Okay. That should be fairly... Is that not fairly straightforward? If we blow that up. And then blow, say, uh, that up. Like that. And then we've got two copy bits. So copy that bit and put that there. Um, oh no, that's higher up. Ah, no. Okay, right. Okay, edit undo that. Don't do that one then. We've got to copy lower down. Okay, like that look. Copy that. Put that. That's still too high. Okay, not that bit. Undo that bit as well. <laughs> it's going well, this. Um, okay. I don't think. Hang on. Right. Reset. Reset the level. Bring it all back. Um, what bits exactly do we blow up then? Um, okay, right, this is perplexing. So we can't blow up... They're low. 
Those are low down bits down there. But we do need to copy... We need to copy some of those bits, but how are we going to do that? Unless we blow up... What have we got? Two explodey bits. So blow that bit up, maybe. But then how are we going to get the ramp down? And then that bit there, if we blow that up, we haven't got another ramp going downwards. Or have we? There's a ramp... Hang on. What if we blew that up? And then... Uh, oh, hang on. Well, that's not going to work either, is it? Because they're not connected. If we blow that and blow that up, that bit is still kind of on its own in the middle. Okay, no, forget that. So I think, is it like that then? And like that, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay. No, but again, they're too, they're low down. The only bit that's going to fit down here is that bit. I'm going to copy that twice? That's not going to fly. No. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that blew it up. Right, okay. I was going to say there's a mouse thing appeared. But, yeah, that just means you can blow up what you've copied and kind of go back. It doesn't rotate it or anything. Um, No. Okay, clearly that's not the way to go. So the creature is getting there. The cow is getting to here. And then it's going, botherations, I'm a bit stuck. Um, Yeah, we need a... Hang on, hang on. Is there a right? There is a turn. That's too high up, though. <laughs> it's too high up. Uh, this is... um Okay, right. Again, once again, it's a puzzle game in the geek cupboard. So you should have already kind of buckled in and prepared for ineptitude with this one. But okay, right. So cow level, cow wandering through beautiful pink forest level is proving to be our first big obstacle. All the others have been sort of okay. This one is proving to be a little bit of a bother. Because I can't quite work out how we're going to do it. It seems to be that the bits we have to blow up are the bits we need to copy. But we have to blow the things up first and then copy them afterwards. So I'm not quite sure how we go about doing this kind of thing. And we can only copy two squares of two. So it's not like we can just copy all of these things up here and just build across like that. Because that's not going to work either. Um, unless... Hang on, what if we blow, say, that bit... And that, no, but that, but that needs to go. That needs to go. I'm fairly certain that bit has to be destroyed. Because it's not connected to anything. What if we did that? And we did that. What if we went like that? And then we copied... Uh, <laughs> no, that's, that's not going to fly either. Because we can't rotate them. So that can go down, but no, that's completely useless. Okay, right, no, abandon that one, abandon that, reset everything. Okay, right, hang on a minute, let me get some tea, and I'll come back with some tea, and we'll have this all solved, because tea will fix everything. Okay, so it seems that not even a lovely cup of honey, lemon, and ginger tea has given my brain enough oomph to work this one out. However, help is at hand elsewhere, because down here, we've got some very helpful hints, which is useful. We've got three of them right now, because we've got the three little kind of blue diamond things, and I think we use one of those hints. That's what they're for, isn't it? We've hit a bit of a dead end, we don't know what to do, so let's get a hint. I think maybe we'll try and limit hint usage. Because, I mean, we've only got to put four pieces down and we can get three hints. So if we were to use all those, that would be what? Giving us 75% of the answer. Which does seem a little bit of a cop-out, doesn't it? But I think just to give us a head start, what is hint number one? So it's going to show us where we should possibly blow something up. And it's just there. Okay. So it does it for us. So one hint is down and we blow that up. So now we know that goes. That is part of the correct solution. Um, I mean, do we blow that up? Do we blow those two up? But how do we get round the corner? How do we get... How do we get round the corner? <laughs> so if we blow that up, look, and then we have to copy... Then, yeah, how do we get across? How do we get across from there? Because there's no across bit now. Unless we don't... Hang on, hang on. Go back. Maybe we don't blow that bit up. Maybe. Do we blow that bit we blow that bit up do we blow that bit up like that hang on a second hang on right this is good that ah copy that put that there yep and then copy that and put that there okay right there we go thank you helpful hint okay so we've used one hint 
that's not so bad. That's not so bad at all. I quite appreciate the fact that we have a puzzle game with some helpful hints in because you know, in the past, hints would have been quite helpful with other games rather than me sitting there for many hours staring at the screen wondering what to do. Um, okay, so what have we got now? We've got a boat. There's a boat over there that has to go over here. It's it's next door. Get out of the boat and just, just walk over to the flag. Um, however, in the way, there appears to be a castle. There's a castle in the way, and also a little kind of an area where there's are there some people down there. I don't know what's down there. There's some like a cart and a wagon and such like. I think we have to blow that up. Surely that's got to go. Um, yeah, it's got to be like that, hasn't it? We've got to do that. And then we've got one bit like that. And then we've got three copies. Um, oh, oh dear. hang on a minute. Hang on. So we can copy that. So we can go, uh, oh no. No, no, don't copy it. No, no, that's a terrible idea. Don't copy that. No, no, that was a stupid idea. Um, ah, however, I can see the problem here. So we can then go, well, I know, one like that. Copy that. That's down. Now we can copy those two as a pair. Put that in. Copy that as a pair. And drop that in. Okay. Right. I see. Right. The boat gets exploded. Time for another transition. Boop, boop, boop. Somewhere cold. There's a snowman. Hooray for the snowman. And it looks like we're moving. I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure what that is. A bear? A horse? A cow, a bull, I don't, whatever that thing is there. We're moving that thing around. Okay, so it gets to here and then it gets a bit stuck. So we've got two bombs, two bits of road that are one by two, then another small bomb, and then a ziggity zaggity bit of road. Ah, oh, game. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Um, okay, so bombity bomb that bit. Sorry, snowman. And we're going to. Bombity bomb that bit, I think. And then we've got a road bit which can go like that. That's fine. And a road bit which can go like that. And then we've got another explodey bit. And then a ziggity zaggity road section. Hang on. If we just go like that and then try and put the ziggity zaggity road bit in, it says, no, get out of town, you. Um. Oh, okay. How are we going to do that? That seems like it should go there. That seems like it should go in that gap somehow. How are we going to do that? Oh my goodness. Okay, right. hang on a second. Hang on. Go Undo everything, actually. Undo everything. So, uh, okay, hang on. Hang on. This is, this is, this is tricky, isn't it? So that's going to go, so blow that up and then blow that up. So that is where, that's where the ziggity zaggity road's going to go. Uh, and then if we put... Oh, hang on. We have to... Bl ah! I see what we have to do. We have to put something down and then blow up a bit of what we've already used. Is that right? So put that down. Um, oh, there's two of those. Oh, bother. Uh, can we just put that there? Just don't use that. Then put that in like that. Uh, no. Although very nearly... Oh, yeah. It's not quite right, is it? It's not quite in the right place. Um, okay. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. So that top, the bit where it's got red flashing off, that's okay. We can deal with that bit. So I think we have to blow that bit. Uh, right, hang on. Hang on a second. Go back. Go back. But scrap everything. Start again. Abandon. So blow that bit up. And then blow that bit up. And then fill that in like that. Fill that in like that. And then we've got one bit to explode. Oh, that's not no, that's not gonna work either, is it? Blow that bit up. And we've still got that bit full of stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh dearie me. I don't know why I do this. Why do I see a puzzle game and go, oh a puzzle game? <laughs> Brilliant, here we go. You can you can watch three hours of me looking confused. How do we do that? How does that work? Okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. Right, get rid of all that. We have got four hints on this, implying that it is quite tricky. But I'm determined to give it a better go without using a hint. So, okay, it's those, we have to put the two bits in. That's the tricky bit, right? Blow that up, get rid of that, and then blow that bit up. 
Okay, so that would then fit, but then that bit's not going to be any good, is it? That's going to be a bit rubbish. Um, okay, that needs to go, I think. I think... Can we get rid of that bit? Yeah, right now that wouldn't that wouldn't work because that bit's in the way. Um, so the, it's going to go across like this. The, yeah, that the end bit would fit in that gap there, but it's not going to fly. So how how <laughs> how is the question that I have? Um, okay, hang on a second. Hang on, this is going to make sense somehow. So if we put that there and then we blow that. Oh, no, there's another one. Just chuck it anywhere. Whatever. And then we blow... No, that's filled that bit up. <laughs> uh, nope, that's not going to work here. The right cat abandoned that idea. That was a terrible idea. We... Do you know what? Lisa Snowman keeps coming back to life. That's nice, isn't it? Welcome back, Snowman. Um, okay, blow that bit up. And blow that bit up. There you go. It's a bit jiggity jaggedy, but it'll do. So, pop that in. Uh, and then put that in but then how then the top bit's not gonna fit <laughs> the top bit is not gonna fit oh this is melting my head um yeah and if we blow that bit up then that's not gonna fit well oh, because that's in the way right i don't know i'm using a hint we're using a hint i don't know i'm not sure okay hint please show us what to do boom oh in the middle okay wasn't expecting that Okay, so that's that's definite. That's a definite, that's a given thing. So then do you blow up those bits like that? And then put a road section in like that, a road section like that, and then, ah! And then you blow the middle bit up, and then that bit slots in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, farewell, whatever creature you were. That was tricky. Oh, it's all gone Inception. Whoop, there we go. Very pretty. Um, okay, so we've got like a crashed boat and we're operating a train. Okay, but it looks like we're going to have to go across the water, possibly. We've got two explodey bits, one bit of track, and then three two by two copies. So I would say we explodey bit that and we explodey bit that, and then we have to build in the middle here hang on what do we got one two three four oh bother okay so if we put that down and then we've got a copy section um like that and then we put that in and then we've got another copy bit where we have to copy those two like that another copy oh no that's fine that's fine that works yay there we go see that one that one was all right. That didn't take me 15 hours to work out. That was sort of okay. Back onto like a sort of a green foresty area. Some people camping out by some rocks. Very pretty. Okay, so we've got what looks like a another cow or a bull or whatever. And there's a little car over there as well. So the car can get to where it needs to go. The car is absolutely fine. Um, oh, there's a crossing. Oh, now we have to factor in crossings. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. <laughs> right. Hang on. It's got to be like that. This should be nice and straightforward. So, um, yeah. Road bit, road bit, road bit, crossing bit. Okay. So, the car drives along and then that the pedestrians can walk across the crossing. Okay. So, another new concept introduced. So, now we can have people crossing the road. Uh, oh. And now we've got a wibbly... What have we got? Like a, you know, the rubbish truck thing that has to get over there. But we've got a wibbly bomb thing going on. Okay, so what if we blow up that there? And then what have we got? Two straight bits. So I have a straight bit. And we've got a right. Oh, no, hang on. The straight bit and straight bit. Then a curve. <laughs> oh, man. And then a curve. What if we blow up that? What if we do that? So a straight bit and a straight bit. And then, hang on, a curved bit. Ah, no, that's not going to work because there needs to be a straight bit in there. Nope, okay, abandon that second explosive attempt. Abandon that, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. Um, okay, what if we just went like... <laughs> 
Oh dear. Um, uh, up there? What if we sort of blew that up? We've only got six bits, so it's going to have to be straight coming down there. Um, and then... Oh, no, that's that's not going to work either, I don't think, is it? No, that, that's not going to work, because this isn't going to fit anywhere. That doesn't live anywhere now. Um, no, not that. Not that solution either. That's a terrible idea. Abandon that solution. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Right, hang on. What if it's a bit more like... What if we have that there? Right, so a straight bit going there and a straight bit going there. And then just a series of curved bits. I like this. Yes. Perfect. There you go. Recalculate your route and on you go. I mean, we have caused some damage to the environment and the existing road network, but that's okay. Oh, that was fancy pants. I was going to say that's a small level. Now it's quite big. Oh, no. Now there's four people. <laughs> okay. So now we have to manage four people in their lovely multicolored cars, which is great. I like that. Go, go, power cars. They've got to get to their various locations over here. And we've got four explodey bomb things to do so. Okay, I think it's going to be one and two and three and four. Clear that out like so. So that's all clear. And then we've got all of these. Oh, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Um, okay, so that goes in like that, and then we have that going in like that. Oh, yeah, there, like that, and then across the top. Oh, yes, there we go. Everyone can get to where they need to go. We, <laughs> why do they fly about and explode? I don't know, but I like the fact they do. And now we've got a cat, I think it is. Uh, oh, what's that? What does that do? It's a hand. Hang on. What, what if we click on that? Uh, we pick it up and we put it somewhere else. What, what do we do with it? We add it to... Oh! Oh! We pick up bits and move things around. Oh! Oh, that's a, that adds a whole new dynamic to the game, doesn't it? Hang on a second. Hang on. So we need to... Move that bit, just put it anywhere, out of the way. Move that bit out of the way. Pick that bit up, shifty it over. Pick that bit up, shifty it over. Clear path of cat face, move wheel, whatever it is to get to where it's going and then get jettisoned off into the wilderness. Okay. Right, so now, oh, now there's all sorts of moving things going on. <laughs> uh, okay, so a lovely city over there with some fountains and some little kind of hut things. Looks very nice. Unity! That's what the game is programmed in, I imagine. And we've got to get you, car driver, to over there. Oh, this is... I could, I could cope when it was moving one thing at a time. <laughs> moving like, two by two grid of things. Um, okay. So do we want to pick that up? And move it out of the way. Hang on. What else do we have? There's plenty of other stuff. So pick that up and put that over there. There you go. Bye-bye. And then pick that up and put that there or something. That'll do. And now we've got four individual bits. So there's one, two, three, four. Right, okay. So we should be okay. So we're going to have to have a few of these. Oh, no. No, no, no. We can't have that one. Hang on a minute. Yeah, not that. So pick that one up. Put that there. Uh, okay, hang on. We need a curve like that, and then a curve like that. Is there one of those? No, there's not a right-hand curve. <laughs> Bother. I was kind of thinking there'd be a right-hand curved bit that we could use. Hang on, is there a bit that we've, that we've stolen? No. No, there's not. The bits we've moved are pretty useless. They don't do much. Um, okay. Okay, maybe then we rejig the bits that we just put in. So hang on. Like that. So what if we have... Uh, is there a sideways? Yes, we can have that. Hang on, hang on. No, no, no. This is, this is, this is easier than I thought it might be, actually. I've made it complicated. Like that, look. There we go. 
Boom. Away you go. Sorted. Two destination. And then you get catapulted and then you explode. Okay. Now we're in another kind of cityscape. There's some people trapped in some sort of... <laughs> So there's like some sort of combat arena, some sort of vehicle combat arena. You must drive around in in whatever that is, slightly sort of rounded edge squares for ages and ages, forever, until one of you survives. And they need to get up there. Okay, so it looks like they come under here and go round there. So as long as they can get from this weird battle arena past that... And, oh my goodness me. <laughs> um, okay. So do we pick up... I mean, yeah, what do we do? Pick that bit up and put that there. Right, there are still fences. Hang on, okay. Then blow that... Ah, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. I think I see... Oh no, but then what about that? Maybe not... Oh no. If we're going to blow that up... There's no point in moving it out of the way. So where do we move something from or to? We could pick up one of those. Uh, <laughs> no. And the last one's a move action. Oh, this is too much for my delicate brain. Um, right. I wonder if we pick that up. Because I can get there. Once they're past that point, once they're on there, it's okay. They drive up there, and they go round, and they can reach where they need to go, and that kind of raised bit over there. So it's all over here that is the issue. So if we pick up, uh, I don't know, say that. Oh, are they going to need that? They're not going to need that bit. They're not going to need a bit like that. And this is moving, so we don't need to move anything. I love how you can just move anything you like. Just pick up a building, just move it around. Um... Okay, hang on. Then we're going to blow stuff up. So I imagine we blow up that there. And then we put in that just there. Then a straight piece. And then we've got two more straight pieces. Two more straight bits. Which would go there and there. And then a curved bit that would go in here. And then we've got a move and another move. Uh, what are we moving? I don't understand what we're moving. Okay, hang on a minute. I'm just going to move anything. I'm going to move you to there. Yay. Then we're going to blow that up. Then we're going to blow... Oh, that up? Oh. Do we have to... Ah, right. Hang on. I think I know what the move's for. I think we pick that up. We move it somewhere safe. We blow that up. We then blow that up. Because we haven't got one of those corners... Then we put that into there. Then we have a road bit and a road bit and a road bit. Then we have a cornery bit. And then we pick that up and we put it back where we found it. And they all work their way around and it's completely brilliant. I like that. That was a good puzzle. And we <laughs> away they go. Moody kind of zoom into the next thing. Oh, Halloween-y. There's pumpkins and things. Okay, so now we've got uh, a cow and a horse. Uh, oh, and it's a new thing. It's a rotatey bit. Okay, so we rotate. Uh, uh, oh no, I did that wrong. Hang on, rotate that round. Hang on, what's that saying? Oh, we move. Oh, I say we move. I thought it was telling us to click, but no, we just we just swivel the mouse. Okay, so one rotate done, and then another. Oh, this this okay. This is nice and simple because this is saying hello. Here's a new concept. Look, I'm introducing this to you very gently indeed. Right, okay, like that. They can get to where they need to go. Yay, right, cow and horse happy until they get exploded and jettisoned into the skies. So now we've got... Oh, no rotatey bits at all. I thought given they just kind of showed us that, we'd have some rotatey bits. But no, so we've got three explody diamonds, a crossing, and then four diamondy copy bits. Crikey. Ah! I was going to say, why do we need a crossing? But yeah, there is a truck down there. There is a little kind of uh, like a, a rubbish lorry, garbage truck, whatever you want to call it. So you need to... Oh, crikey. Hang on. You need to get over there. The only thing is, it's a long way for you to get over there, isn't it? So if we blow up that and we blow up 
that, then we've got another exploded bit as well. Hang on, that, like so. And then we've got a crossing. <laughs> where does this go? I don't know where this goes. Um, so a crossing, I, I don't, there. <laughs> I don't know where that goes. A crossing. And then we've got a four by four copy. Um, unless it should go there somewhere. And then we copy that to, oh, this is terrible, to there. And then we copy that to there. Ah, and then we copy that to there. Now this, this, that's how it's done. And then we copy that to there. And it's a bit weird, but it's a massive load of crossings. Ah, ha, ha. There you go. Right, you've got your destination. Now you can be flung into the skies and explode a bit. Right. Okay, right. Okay, what level are we on? Hang on. Oh, it's a pirate ship. It's a pirate ship. What level are we on? We're on level 28. Oh, no, 27 are we on. Uh, no, we've completed 27. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. What's that? What does that mean? Does that mean we can skip ahead? Can we skip ahead to those levels? Um... Yeah, there's a little kind of arrow thing. Hang on, let's go and see if we can. Oh, we can. And the ship just kind of gives up. <laughs> it goes, boing, goodbye. Oh, that's a terrible mess, isn't it? Oh, that's all over the place. Hang on, go back to 28, please. Okay, so there we go. Ping that back out of, out of, into the skies. All right, goes a bit Inception. Right, so back here, what do we have? We've got a bomb, a rotate, and a copy. Okay, so I think... Bomb's got to be there. Surely the bomb's got to be there. And then the rotate is going to come in and go like that. And then we copy that bit. We pop that in like that. That was nice and simple. That was okay. I don't mind that one. Um, I think, yeah, we'll try and compete level 30. Level 30 seems like a good point to kind of finish things off. So this one and the next one. Uh, okay. So a bomb, a copy, and a rotate. And you've got to get to where you need, you can get to where you need to go. Oh no, there's a thing. There's a pig. Hello, pig. Okay. So we've got one explodey bit. Um, and then a copy. Okay, so hang on. So explodey bit that there. Copy that. So you can cross over. But then we've got rotatey bit. Uh, yeah. But then that's not going to can't rotate that anywhere it's not gonna that's not gonna fly oh oh okay this looks simple but it's not simple at all um i i, I don't know <laughs> how do we do that how on earth are we supposed to do that um do we rotate we haven't got enough room to rotate three things into there's not enough room to do that hang on reset everything what do we have before so like that. So yeah, it's going to stop just here. So the problem is here. So they can't cross over. So I'm fairly certain that has to... Do you know what? I might use one of our hints just to confirm that step number one is blowing that bit up there. Okay, so is that what we do? Step number... No. <laughs> no, it isn't at all. Okay. So we copy, say, that bit. Like that. And then we... Rotate. I don't understand because we can't rotate anything because it can't go down. Uh, okay, okay, right, hang on, hang on. We have got one more hint. We've got one more hint. Um, but I'm going to try and figure it out. Oh, this might take a while. I need to get brain in gear. More, more tears required. So hang on a second. We know that's a given because that's given to us by a hint. But then the rest of it is a bit of a mystery to us. Okay. Okay, right, we can work this out. It'll all be fine, little pig, don't you worry. Oh, no, I see it. Right, okay, okay, right, okay, this is all fine. So copy that just there. I think we're right in that. And then get that there. But currently, that crossing there next to the little tractor, I notice, is no use at all. But we need to be over here, look, so the pig can safely cross over. But of course, we can pick those up and we can rotate that round. So we don't need to rotate it necessarily at an angle to itself. It can just kind of flip around 180 degrees like that. Boom, all sorted. Okay, that took a little while for my brain to work through, but that's okay. And then this one here looks like a complete hot mess. This is level 30, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I think, yeah, we'll get this done and we'll finish up. We've got... Ooh, 
That's new. Oh, okay. Is this going to be sort of simple-ish? Okay, so hang on a minute. So pick that up. And that's going to be a... Uh, okay, hang on. What happens with that? Don't understand what happens with that. That can go... Uh, oh, it's a replace. It's a replace thing. Okay, so replace that with that. Okay. There we go. And then we need to replace... Oh. Oh, hang on. That needs an uphill kind of angle turn. Have we got an uphill angle turn? I don't think we have. Oh, okay. Uh, how do we how do we do that then? <laughs> how do we get up there? It's going to be that bit, but how do we replace that? Because it's got to come down. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is it? Can we replace that bit? No, because then it's going to go down to there. Unless, unless what we did just there was wrong. Maybe we, no, we don't need that bit because it doesn't go down here. That's a waste of time. Hang on. Replace that bit with that bit. So boop and boop. And then... No, that's complete. That's a complete nonsense. And then... No, that's that's gibberish. Don't do that. That's very silly. Um, How can we get down from there? How on earth do we get downwards by swapping two things that's not very many things that's not many things at all uh okay right it, it's got to be doable somehow if we swap that with that it makes that a lovely kind of ramp but i don't think that's what we're supposed to do because that bit down there is completely pointless um unless we're supposed to use that for something but i don't think we are uh there's no point we can't move the end flag, because that would be cheating. Just put it over here and go, hooray, we've done it. Um, that could go there, but then you still need to get off the side of the thing. Uh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I can't work out how it how it works. Uh, also, have we only have we got one hint? Uh, okay. Right, I'm gonna look for it, look at this a bit more, because I kind of feel like if we've got one hint and we've only got two potential, or two uses of the swap thing anyway, one hint is giving us 50% of how to solve the level, which again does seem a little bit kind of cheaty, but yeah, that's why they're there if we're completely stumped. But um, yeah, I'll just look at it a little bit longer just to just to try and make it work in my mangled brain. Hang on a second, hang on. Right, let me just go and just jab buttons and see what we can do. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. How about bringing that, swap that bit up there with that bit to make that a nice gentle ramp and then swap that bit with that bit and we're sorted. There we go. Do you know what? That didn't take that long, actually. Looking at that, it didn't take that long. Once I sat and stared at it enough, it was sort of okay. Um, yeah, a long rotator bit and a couple of individual rotator bits for level 31. But I think we'll wrap things up for now. With that look at Please Fix the Road, I think we've had a good look at the game to see exactly how it works and what it's all about and all that kind of stuff. And I like this. I quite like this. It's a very interesting puzzle game. I don't think I've ever played anything that's quite the same as this. I think as well, I wasn't expecting to have to put the things in the particular order given. I thought it would just be a case of, right, here's a big broken road network. There's all these bits here. Try and go and fix it as best you can with the pieces you have available. But I didn't kind of realise that you'd have to kind of solve things in a sequence. That makes it all the trickier. That makes it very tricky because sometimes you don't want to have to you know, do one thing before the other. You could do things differently, but that makes it very interesting. But yeah, I like this. It's good. It's got a good mix of puzzles. You have got the hints on board if you need them. We didn't use too many, I don't think. We used a few to you know, move things along a bit. We didn't rely on them entirely. We got there in the end with some good old geek cupboard brain power and guesswork. So um, yeah, you've got hints as well to help you out if you happen to need them. And I think, yeah, it's a level which is challenging. I mean, we've only done the earlier levels. I imagine level, whatever it was, 160 or whatever, might be quite tricky. But, you know, I think we've done okay. And they're not completely, utterly impossible. There's only, you know, so many things you can do with the levels and the bits you've got and the sort of tools you have. There's only so many things you can do. So I think, you know, if you do get a bit stuck, maybe you could just go away for a bit like I did, make a cup of tea, come back, fresh eyes, see if that works. They're not too utterly impossible, the puzzles that we've seen so far anyway. They are sort of, yeah, they're certainly very achievable, if quite fiendish at points. But, uh, but yeah, as well, it looks amazing. 
it just looks so pretty. The transitions between the levels is amazing. And then, of course, when you've got the stuff moving about on the levels, the little trains and the animals running about, and the levels themselves, very lovely to look at. This one's got whatever that is, some sort of logs over there and some rocks and a bit of water and some trees and stuff. Other levels have got other bits and bobs and they've got boats and animals and everything else. It's really pretty to look at. So I've had a thoroughly splendid time with Please Fix the Road. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Time. Right, if we connect to there and open the door, we're going to get vaporized by this laser. And there's an electronic thing, which looks like a sad kind of Game Boy. <laughs> I'm a tiny little sort of uh, sort of stick person in a, in a computer. I can't steer the train as such. And look, we are outside and we're in a gutter. Oh, happy days. Hello, Leaf.